Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide. It's your boy Big Will, and I'm back with some boxing talk. What's good with your fam fam? Hey, listen, man. Erickson Lubin stopped Ishe Smith, man. Um, I believe it was after the, the, the third round, man. Uh the first round was just like a pretty much a fill out round. Um Erickson Lubin set the set the tone from the beginning, man. Uh Ishe was doing a little stocking. Um, it was a slow pace, but uh, Erickson Lubin was picking his shots real good, man. Um, and, you know, just kind of filling, filling Smith out a little bit. But he came out in the second round, man. And you could see that um, he stepped uh, up the tempo. Um, he caught Ishe Smith with a nice left. I believe it caught him right about the ear. He dropped him, man. He dropped him a couple times in that second round, man. Um, but credit to Ishe Smith. He was able to finish the round. Um, they came out in the third round. Erickson Lubin still was was he was on his ass. You know what I'm saying? He was <clears throat> excuse me. He was on his ass the whole third round, man, with some heavy shots. I didn't realize how heavy handed Erickson Lubin is, man. He is very heavy handed, man. I watched a whole lot of fights um with Ishe Smith in him, man, and I never seen him react to um somebody punching punching him. I mean, when punches was missing, um, you know, uh, Ishe would, would flinch, you know. Every time uh, Lubin put his hands up, Ishe would flinch. That tells you right there that, you know, he has been hit very hard and he does not want to get hit again, man. Um, I don't even know how many times he knocked Ishe down, but um, it was about four or five times, man. And uh, after the third round, uh, went back to the corner, I guess the referee was Jack Reese. Um, who was the ref that was the ref that refereed uh, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, um, same referee, Jack Reese. Um, he went over to the corner, and I'm not sure if the corner decided it was enough or if um, Jack Reese took it upon himself to call the fight. But um, Ishe Smith did not come out for the fourth round. The fight was halted, and uh, Erickson Lubin got the TKO victory, man. Um, Erickson Lubin looked very good in this fight, man. Um, like I said, when the, the fight with Jamal, Jamel Charlo uh, was supposed to be this coming out fight, man. Um, but, you know, because of the knockout, we didn't get the, the opportunity to see him against the highly skilled opponent like Jamel Charlo. Uh, but Ishe Smith is no pushover, man. He is 40 years old. He is uh, past his prime. But, you know, he's still a very good boxer, man. And the way Erickson Lubin dispatched him, man, um, you know, was very impressive, man, and I'm looking forward to seeing Erickson Lubin, um, you know, fighting these these top guys at 154 because I definitely believe that he brings a lot to the table, man. Very impressive victory tonight. Um, hats off to Erickson Lubin, um, you know, and, you know, E.J. Smith, credit to him, man. He, you know, he tried. He tried to fight, and, um, you know, he tried to go out on his shield, man, but uh, he just couldn't do it. That's all I got for now, man. It's your guy, Big Will. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, don't leave out of here without subscribing. Until next time, peace. I'll holler back.